One of the hardest parts about making a budget is simply getting started. It doesn't matter if you're on a tight budget, you still need to do one. Budgeting is really a way of having a plan for your money. If you don't have a plan, then your money's not going to work for you. You're going to be working for it. One small mistake or emergency can be devastating. And if you are having credit issues, I think it's safe to say that you can probably relate to what I'm saying here. So let's get you back on this road to financial freedom. Let's create a budget. I recommend creating your own budgeting binder. I'm doing this for myself as well. This is where I'm going to store my month to month budgets. And uh, I want to be able to look at my budget frequently. I want to be able to review it. I want to be able to track my daily expenses so that I can identify spending patterns. Uh, it's going to help me to be able to cut down on areas of spend that I don't really need to be spending uh, my wants versus my needs. And it's going to be exciting just to see how far you come as you start budgeting and sticking to a budget you know, the first 30 days, 60, 90 days, and then 12 months out. A lot of us have goals of wanting to pay down credit card debt. I know that's one of my goals, as well as building up more of an emergency fund. So, you know, sticking with this, and I think of this as financial fitness. <laughs> I'm getting my finances fit again. So uh, that's why I, I'm really wanting to do this budgeting series. Also, because I see so much debt going on. I see what debt's doing to people. I've also been in debt before, so I know the mental toll it can take, the physical toll, definitely the financial toll, the stress that it can bring on, you know, the um the compromising of your health over over, you know, just being in debt, but I want you to know that you know, you can get out of debt. It, it's going to take some work, but it can be done. Uh, don't let your financial situation Define who you are as a person because your value, you cannot put a value on yourself. You are invaluable. doesn't matter if you're $20,000, $40,000, $100,000 dollars in debt. That's not your value. So I, I get, when I see people talking about how they screwed up in life, and they feel like they're just a mess up. I just, I feel for them. And I just want to say to them, you know, hey, yes. Maybe you made some uh, not so good decisions with your finances. We all make mistakes. Uh, we learn from our mistakes. We grow from our mistakes. But your debt just, it doesn't define you. And you'll look back because you will get over, you'll get through this debt and you'll look back and, you know, you, you will, you will have learned from this. And, you know, it's my hope that uh, by learning to take control of your finances now, you won't find yourself in this situation again. So we're building better financial habits for the future here. So grab your pens and pencils, some colored highlighters, get a binder that you can dedicate to being a budget binder, get some divider tabs that you can put your monthly budgets behind, grab some envelopes because I'm talk to you about the envelope budgeting system. I'll do this in a later video. Grab some notebook paper or if you would like this budgeting spreadsheet book that I've put together. I have uh, a tab for bank statement reviews, monthly expense tracker, overdue bill tracker, um, uh, a zero-based budget that I'm going to teach you how to do. Uh, I know there's a credit card uh, tracker, or I, I call the snowball debt tracker because we're going to pay down debt, and I'm going to show you how to do so using the credit card tracker and more. So this you will be able to find in the uh, comment section or the uh, bio section or the description section of this video. It's in a link. It's my link called Road to Financial Freedom. So click on that link and then you can go to this, this budgeting system that I've created. And uh, if you like it, go ahead and, and, and get it and get started with it and follow me uh, because I'm going to go through the tabs here and explain how to use them over the next several videos. So the next thing that you'll do is grab your bank statements and add up your income and expenses. And then you can record these totals either on a blank sheet of paper or you could use the bank statement review tab that I've created and fill out the yellow highlighted cells. Uh, you can grab your highlighters and do some color coding of these expenses on income on your bank statements and then add up those totals and record them. So for example, you can take a green 
highlighter and go through your bank statements and highlight all of your sources of income and total those up. Then grab a blue highlighter and highlight all of your fixed expenses. These are more of the recurring needs. These are things like your rent or mortgage, your renter's insurance, your cell phone, your utility bills like gas, electric, water, car payments, car insurance, student loans, TV or internet. I know in my case, I have to have Wi-Fi or internet in order to work and then credit cards. So add those up and total them. Then you're going to go to your variable expenses. Now, these are expenses you have a bit more control over. You can cut them down or you can cut them out altogether. These are expenses that you would consider to be more of a want. Like you don't have to have a lot of them, but you want them. So for example, you don't have to eat out, but you choose to eat out. Um, you don't have to spend money on entertainment. There's lots of free things to do, or you can reduce your entertainment, but uh, it's not a need. It's a want. Online shopping, uh, definitely not a need. <laughs> it's a want. Groceries, there's some things that you can do to reduce your grocery bill. I mean, we have to eat, and I'll talk about that in a later video as well. And then fuel, car wash, uh, you know, self care, uh, nail salon, hair salon, you know, barbershop, and then reoccurring subscriptions. So this is actually mine. And one interesting thing that I learned from this that I'll share with you. So this is not a complete picture of my total spend for eating out, nor entertainment, nor shopping online. I say that because I use my credit cards for some of this stuff. So if I'm only looking at my bank statements, I'm not seeing the full picture of all that I spent last month on eating out because I know that I spent more than $132 in eating out. But this is a start. One of my challenges to myself, and I would say maybe consider this as a challenge for yourself since our goal here is to budget in order to either get out of debt or pay down debt and um, you know, save more money, grow an emergency fund. I am challenging myself not to use my credit cards for the next 90 days because I need to see a true picture of what I'm spending and how much I'm spending, especially on my wants. So. I think between uh, using my debit card and uh, probably paying cash at times and then probably using another credit card, I'm double this on the eating out and same thing with the entertainment and same thing with the nails. So, but this gives me a good start. At least I have a category of my wants so I can go, okay, where can I possibly cut out or cut down on spend? And just with what I recorded here, I realized that I have almost $500 that I can free up. I'm using, or I'm paying for subscriptions that I don't use. Um, you know, nail salon, I spent more than $62 in a month. It was closer to $200, but I can do a basic pedicure, manicure. I don't have to get the, the, the gel nails and, or gel dip. And then, you know, the, the pedicure with the gel, uh, polish job. So I can cut back on just doing more of a, some still some self-pampering, some self-love, but uh, a little bit more basic. Um, I can control my grocery shopping a little bit. I can definitely control my online shopping and I can cut out the eating out. And that's one of my other challenges besides not using credit cards for 90 days. I told myself I'm not going to eat out for at least 30 days. I need to get healthier and eating out is not helping me and I can afford to cut that out. So I'm on a 30 day, no eating out, no going to restaurants, no stopping by fast food. So bye bye Chipotle, bye bye Chick fil A. Uh, I'm not going to do that for at least 30 days. And who knows, it takes 30 days to form a habit. So this might turn into 60 and 90 days. So you may just see a whole new me here in 90 days as a result of cutting out certain things. So this is the bank statement review. So I would say do this for yourself and then we'll go on to the next tab.